Thank you, uh, Mr. Button. Thank you very much, Madam Chairman. Now, I've got lots of questions I'd like to ask, but time is limited, so I'll have to restrict myself to one, which is on the so-called financial settlement. Now, if there's a problem here, it's because of the weakness and indecisiveness of the British government, because Mr. Davis should have told you what the figure is, and it's zero, and then said we move on from here. But uh, what I'd like to know concerns the legal basis for this, because uh, I think Mr. Hofstadt conceded, if I heard him correctly, um, he can correct me if I'm wrong, but he seemed to say that there wasn't a legal basis, but there was a moral obligation. Well, the only moral obligation I can see would be to the salaries and, or the pensions and redundancies of civil servants, um, British civil servants employed by the Commission, and I don't see any reason why most of them shouldn't go on working for the EU in any case. And how has this figure arrived at of 100 billion? And also, Commissioner Ertinger said that, first of all, he said that this would be a liability up to 2020, and then recently he's changed it to 2023. So it seems to be being made up as we go along. How much is it, uh, and up until what point? Uh, Mr. Hofstadt spoke about contingent liabilities. Well, a very wise thing for the EU would to have done would have been to accept that after the referendum verdict of 2020, uh, and 16, that there weren't going to be any more commitments and to budget accordingly. Citizens and businesses and organisations all across the EU, when their income reduces, they have to reduce their outgoings and their expenditure as well. Very quickly, I think that we owe you nothing, but let me just, uh, for the sake of argument, talk about how much you might reasonably ask for. It could only be the net contribution up until the time that we leave. And if you take off the rebate and take off the e our own money spent in our own country, you're left with a total figure from July this year up to 2020 of about um, 33.7 billion. And every month that we pay you more, that figure goes down. Now, by the time we get to the middle of 2019, a very rough calculation is that the outstanding um, money would be about uh, 4.8, uh, 4.6 billion. And of course, our rebate, which is only paid a year after, um, would be about the same amount. So even if we stay, don't leave the organisation in 2019, we actually are quits and don't owe you anything. So just to summarise, uh, what's the legal basis for asking for this money? Is there one? It's not in Lisbon. It's not in the uh, Article 50. And if you're saying there is a legal basis, tell us what it is, and then tell us how you're working out it's 100 billion uh, and on what basis, so that the government and the uh, British people will know what you're actually talking about. Thank you. Uh, the second is on the financial settlement. I take um, uh, James' uh, her, uh, uh, comments, and I, I put them together with Mr. Uh, Batten have uh, said. I didn't talk about moral obligation. I was quoting uh, uh, Mr. Davies uh, uh, when I was uh, using the word moral obligation uh, because I think there is uh, a, a legal basis naturally and this legal basis you find it in the position paper uh, of, the, uh, of the commission that Mr. Barnier has put forward. So I that position paper is, uh, is public, uh, everybody can consult it, and that gives all the different uh, articles on which uh, this uh, financial settlement uh, is, uh, uh, is, is, is based. And um, you have to excuse me, but I will not enter in a discussion uh, about uh, how many billions it is. The only thing what I can say, Mr. James, is that uh, the European uh, negotiators never have put in question the rebate. Never. Uh, so they have not said, oh, uh, we need a financial settlement and uh, let put, uh, first of all, let enter rebate and then uh, start the, uh, to, uh, that we have never done. I don't say that there were maybe no people in Europe who have such thoughts that could be, but that has never been in the uh, uh, position uh, of, uh, so we respect uh, in, uh, the, in, in this discussion about the financial settlement, fully the existing uh, rebate.